Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to speak with you. You know, this isn't a really good time. This really shouldn't wait. If Alexa says it's important, it is. It's more important than, than us? Actually, having... Carly, this will interest you, too. I've been offered a position at a firm in Manhattan. You're leaving town? Yeah, I am. Um, it's my old firm that I used to work for before I moved to Port Charles. And uh, I know the partners, they know me, and they've offered me a lot of leeway when it comes to uh, vacation time and so on. How did it happen? Did you, t you, know, did you call them, tell them you're available? Well, they've made a lot of overtures in the past, and to be honest, I thought they had given up, and then, out of the blue, one of the partners called. At first, I thought it was just too coincidental, but then I realized why it happened. This offer came up because it was the right thing for me. I've been wanting a change and I've been thinking about moving back to Manhattan and when the right thing comes up you need to recognize it and act on it. So you took the job? Yes, I did. Oh, good for you. Must have been a, a really great offer. Yes, it was a, a good offer. Manhattan's a very expensive city so the compensation was more than adequate. So that's it. So? Mine's made up. You're ready to make a change. I'm not going to stand in your way. So I've uh, summarized your litigation pending and in progress, and here's a list of, of all the attorneys that I think are at the top of their field in each area. Uh, the list is long because some of them may turn you down. And uh, finally, here's a, a formal letter of re resignation. It's very formal. I'll still fulfill my contractual obligations, but the firm wants me in New York right away. Okay, well, you know, we wish you all the best. I'll be available to help you with the transition. You don't have to worry about me. I will leave you my number and my address as soon as I get settled. Alexis, I really hope that, um, you know that I only had your best interest at heart when I suggested that your you Your suggestion leave. had absolutely nothing to do with my decision, Carly. You realize that it was time to call it quits and start fresh. You know, I, I do respect that. Then that's it. Take care. You too. Feel like you just stepped into a medical convention? It's not your usual crowd. No, it's a private party, sort of. Well, it's not really private, but Dr. Rick Weber is throwing it. He's ploying all the lambs with liquor before he leads them to the slaughter. It's a sordid story. Well, then we'll just leave it at that. Mm, that's wise. Well, if you have any ailments, this is a place to be tonight. I'll check you, make sure your vital signs are still working in a little while. Have fun. Miss Davis, Dr. Bonds, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. Oh, it's my first time in this uh, colorful club. Oh, I'm here on behalf of Mercy Hospital. Oh, well, of course you are. Listen, this is fortuitous anyway, because there's something that I want to speak to you about. Oh, is everything all right? Yeah. It... Now, what kind of a doctor would you be? Knowing this walking Rorschach test the way I do, I'd say you're probably a shrink. Am I right? This way, I don't have to have two separate conversations. About what? I'm moving back to Manhattan. You're joking. No, I'm, I'm serious. I got a plum offer at my old firm, and I decided to take it. Just like that? I was hoping that you might be able to uh, refer me to a general practitioner. I'll call you tomorrow with a couple of names. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice meet meeting you. you, doctor. Why are you doing this? because I need a change of scenery. You? What about me? Who am I supposed to call next time I get arrested? Baldwin? He's an excellent attorney. He's a hack. Whatever. You know you're not gonna have any fun at all in Manhattan without me. 
I'll take the risk. Well, I'll miss you. And you're gonna miss me, too, because I'm a very intriguing client. You're a pain in my butt. Oh, thank you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. You've got style. And you're the only other person I know, other than me, that hates Helena with a raging passion. I've always appreciated that trait in you. Yeah, likewise. Look, you're, you're doing this for the right reason, aren't you? I mean, you're not doing this out of some kind of martyred need to save somebody or protect somebody or... I mean, that's all counterproductive. You're not doing any of that, are you? I'm doing what's right for me. I'm being very selfish. Good. Good. Well, good luck. Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh.